We're going to see a frontal boundary stalling out across South Texas. The red, that is bad. Boy, it's hot, isn't it? Wow. So over the last 24 hours, I mentioned Montgomery picking up over 8 inches, and there you are, right where we have our bullseye. You can have one season one day, you wait a couple of days, and it feels a lot different the next. Things are going to be changing across the United States. We are, all of you know it, on the edge of a climatic abyss. You have until the sands run up. Climate chaos, well, ain't that a fine how do you do? And what does that mean, man? You can see trucks and cars being swept up in the floodwaters. This is major flooding. I, I've lived up here for eight years. I've never seen it like this. It's been raining nonstop. Severe flooding hit portions of Tennessee hard on Friday. A strong thunderstorm moved through Sumner County overnight, dumping three to six inches of rain in a short period of time. Severe storms and dozens of tornadoes swept through much of the central U.S. Tornadoes were reported in a lot of cities throughout the region including one in Selling, Duke, and Chester, Oklahoma. And it wasn't just tornadoes. Take a look at this incredible video of lightning covering the dark skies over Norman, Oklahoma. And Salem, Indiana was underwater after the Blue River broke its banks on May 19th. And I don't know, people are like, hey dude, tired of you dooming up the weather. And I'm like, well, man, the last storm system that came through had like a hundred freaking tornadoes. And every day, I go to check on shit, it's like, oh my god, Alabama's underwater. Oh my god, Tennessee's underwater. And then you always get the normal contrarians who are like, oh, it's always like this, man. You always have like 30% of America flooded in the spring. It's like, no. But I appreciate your dipshittery, because I don't even know what it would be like if I had 100% consensus, you know? Anywho, yo, people in the south, you best get ready. We got more storms rolling in. Now the concern here over the South Plains and also the Western Gulf Coast states into early next week will be repeated downpours that can cause localized flooding. So this is the area of concern that we will have some travel delays, locally severe storms, and also could see that uh, flooding concern continuing for the next couple of days. Stay cool. I know, yay, right? This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... There were other people. Why should you be the only one involved? But I am involved. We are all involved. Houston, be advised. We've got a video message. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. Hit the button, baby. All right. Welcome to this wonderful and very special Asteroid Fight Club meeting. Now sit down, shut up, and listen, because this shit is important. We have 500 days to avoid the climate chaos. And what does that mean, man? You obey. It has been quite a week in the weather after record snowfall in parts of the Rockies. Now we're looking at tremendous flash flooding on Friday. This is Adolphus, Kentucky, Friday with rain covering what I think is actually a bridge. Well, the beat goes on. It's not over yet. That was Des Moines, Iowa on Wednesday, and that uh, similar situation is going to be the Gulf Coast as we head into the early part of next week. That's because we're going to see a huge dip in the jet stream. The polar jet is going to be dipping. Subtropical jet already active across the southwest and the southern plains. Those two come together and it's going to be wet and stormy across much of the Gulf Coast. And these storms are going to be slow and wet, which can be good for kisses, but very bad for storms, especially if the ground is already moist. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank everybody out there for their outpouring of love and sport. I was shocked, surprised, and overwhelmed. So I'm up and back at it. After somehow surviving this weird ass California alien flu bug infection that sure feels weaponized. I'm mean, like 60% health maybe? For a while there was like negative 5%. You might be like, how is that possible, Thor? I'm like, I don't know, you didn't come here to listen to me talk about my health. We were talking about weather. And as I mentioned in my other video, one of the weirder conspiracy theories is the whole Edgar Casey Navy map where Great Lakes to the BP spill cracks open and falls in the ocean. And so to keep seeing that area get saturated with water on top of the Oklahoma epicenter of earthquakes, it just kind of freaks me out, which is one of the reasons I keep doing all these weather videos. I keep seeing different rivers hitting super high levels. Oh, and a lot of areas are breaking temperature records like crazy. You hear me? We're talking some of these records go back to the 1908. I'm just trying to keep you guys alert and aware. And so the East Coast, had a ton of record temps over the last week. And now, starting now, 
through like Tuesday, it's going to be the West Coast's turn. So that means all that snowpack I've been talking about and Ms. Guest several times, I would think would be in danger, but man, I don't know. And I'll do another video on that after this one. I'm just saying, like when you got like 95 degrees up in Portland in the middle of May, that sounds weird. You know what I'm saying? Everything's weird. And that last storm system, which is slowly pressing east, I think produced tornadoes like crazy. So the weather is getting wackier and wilder. That's for sure. And if you don't agree, that just means you don't objectively know how to look at the data, man. And then compare it, you know, to what we have known. My big, 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 big fear, what I call worst case scenario, is if like we get a lot of these places up to a tipping point level, of river levels and moisture in the ground, and then we just get a giant storm. And next thing you know, like 30% of America is flooded and it never goes back to dry. That would feel like a strategic flooding situation if weather warfare were real. And it feels like we got every type of warfare going on now. You know what I'm saying? Mental, spiritual, physical. Yeah. I mean, the supercells have been wild and wacky looking. The tornadoes have been wild and wacky looking. The lightning has been off the charts. It's like America is a McDLT. It's like the hot side stays hot and the cold side stays cold. And the youngins are like, what the hell is a McDLT? <laughs> it's like McDonald's had this hamburger. Revolutionary. It was just like I said, the hot side stayed hot. And the cold side stayed cold. But then somehow, in the giant fire of Chicago where a cow kicked over a lantern and all of Chicago burned down, that technology was lost. I think somewhere in the mid-80s. <sighs> that was the sound of me banging my microphone against my skull. And man, I only made like two videos in the last ten days, so I'm rusty. So you have to bear with me. Or not. You know, you can just whine and complain all you want in the comments. Yeah, if we look at the model projections, they look funny. It's like 80% of America's going to get wet. It's like I was seeing on Twitter that parts of Alabama and Tennessee had gotten eight inches of rain in the last day. Uh, and I've been watching all the weather stuff, hoping to get healthy soon. And ain't nobody said, oh yeah, you guys are getting eight inches of rain. So everybody, stay cool, be cool. And I'll be back against all odds to do a jam in Thor News Boulevard. But once again, I say to everybody, the outpouring of love, and support, and help, I appreciate it. I really do. If it weren't for y'all, I'd have quit a long time ago. I sure do feel beat to a pulp. It sure feels like the bad guys are winning. Every day, it's like crap. Anyway, stay positive though, okay? Alright, peace out. Talk to you soon. Well, 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 what a hot day we had yesterday and many record breakers. Brooklyn, you were one of them. A high of 92 degrees pretty much up and down the East Coast. We had a record-breaking day, and a lot of places, New York, Boston, Pennsylvania, all had their first 90-degree day. Take a look at Boston, talking about cooling off. Record high temperature on Thursday, 95 degrees. Look at Monday, they're high only 55, 40 degrees cooler. Pattern is certainly going to be changing. Rather than the East being hot, and the West being generally cool, we're going to see that pattern switch with hot temperatures expected for the Western United States, cooler readings for the Great Lakes and the Northeast, and storms expected along the Gulf Coast. Over the remainder of the weekend, temperatures continue to climb in a hurry. We will see some record-challenging warmth as we get into the Northwest, especially for Tuesday. Uh, that includes uh, much of Washington and also down into Oregon. So again, uh, we're going to be talking about big time warmth. Look at some of these numbers heading in toward Tuesday. We're going to be near record territory throughout portions of uh, Oregon and then down south into Nevada and also into California. Notice some of the numbers here. This is Monday and we're talking about temperatures into the 90s, close to 100 degrees as we venture down toward Medford. That's the record, but we're going to be at 97 degrees, so very, very close. Start off in Houston now, Monday evening, taking a look really at all of central and southeastern Texas, on into Louisiana. Then as we head into Tuesday, you notice the rain spreads across the entire Gulf state. We're going to see a front just kind of set up shop in this area, and this is going to be the focal point for repeated rounds of showers and thunderstorms over the course of the next couple. So again, check out the forecast here in Houston. Looks very, very wet. You'll need the umbrellas. We are dodging downpours. That's the case toward Buffalo and southbound to Charleston. Notice where high pressure's in place, and then notice where our front is not really wanting to budge. Uh, this trough in place. Still plenty of moisture around, so more showers and thunderstorms to contend with, and 
get closer to the Gulf Coast, this is where we could have some repeated thunderstorms, and that's where we could see some problems with water in a short period of time, leading to some flooding issues southeast Texas over towards uh, the southern United States. Notice how that wet weather advances into uh, areas of the deep south. This front uh, sweeps through the area Monday. There could be a, a, quite a shot of moisture being uh, shoved into this front, so it could be some heavy downpours of rain, too, and that certainly could mess up uh, those commutes. We get into Monday night. We still have some red on the map out there in western Texas, but all along the I-10 corridor, windshield wipers were going to be getting a pretty good workout this upcoming week. On Monday, the front works its way through the interior northeast, but wet weather is now returning to the Interstate 95 corridor. As you can see, Tuesday, more of the same. More showers and thunderstorms, heavy downpours, possible delays. And notice that's going to basically take us into Tuesday as well, where we're looking at this unsettled slash slightly cooler air mass, and this is going to cover again much of the eastern seaboard. Another system comes charging up out of the south, so by Tuesday night into Wednesday, rain uh, surging up along uh, the east coast here, and we could see some bouts of rain here uh, through the middle and the end of the week, and there's the potential for some heavier downpours. So the heat builds. Temperatures much above average. As we uh, take you to the Bay Area, it's warm here too. Temperature is about 10 degrees above average next couple of days. And as we take you to the Valley of the Sun, it'll be scorching here, uh, hot, right through Tuesday. How are we looking for Monday? Well, it's not looking so nice. Out to the west, it's the flip-flop of this. Portland, Oregon normally should be around 69. There'll be 90 on Monday. Wait till you see what's coming up this afternoon and then later on tomorrow into Tuesday. It is going to be hot out west. Sacramento, almost 100 degrees. Snow melt in the Sierra could be a problem. Everything tends to kind of balance out here. So here we go again. If it's Sacramento, almost 100 degrees. Snow melt in the Sierra could be a problem.